meteorological drought, and then there's the socioeconomic drought. The meteorological drought is, hey, we just haven't seen enough rain and snow. We're well below average. Things are drying up. But then there's the socioeconomic component to drought. The burden is not falling equally along everyone in the state that uses a lot of water. The restrictions are not spread out equally. The economy of California is driven by agriculture, by coastal industry, by tech up in Silicon Valley. All of these things require water. The biggest consumers of water in our state are the farmers. All of those farmers are reliant upon the water to feed those crops. Bob DeCastro right now is live at a farm in Riverside to talk more about this issue. Bob. Yeah, we're at Gless Ranch. Uh, if you've been in Riverside and perhaps you've driven by Van Buren, you see all of the fields of trees, of citrus trees, and of course, a beautiful fruit stand that's right here on the corner. And John and Janet are the owners. They've uh, been around for quite some time. 1960 is when you opened this stand. And I imagine water had been an issue back in 1960, but a, but a, but a bigger issue today. Oh, it's a lot bigger today, yeah. It was a little bit of an issue there, but not, we made it happen very easily. Today, it's a complete different ballgame. Yeah, and I know that in the documentary, Hell No Water, you tell us on how much you've adapted to, to that, right? I mean, you've had to change the irrigation systems. You have to change the way that you are, are taking care of the water that's here on your property. Yeah, that's right. Now we've gone to micro um, uh, sprinklers, and uh, we measure how much water the root zone is in the root zone, and just give it enough water that it needs. And uh, occasionally, if it needs a little leaching, we give it more. But uh, basically, it's all done by instruments. And I know you, you, you deal with a lot of or talk to a lot of your fellow uh, farmers and the like. So how do you see uh, over the next, because we're looking at a potentially a, pro a protracted drought or future droughts that are going to be much longer than this and just as hot. How do you see the future of agriculture here in California? Well, I think agriculture in California is, is threatened. San Joaquin Valley, uh, this next year, probably 25 percent. That's our breadbasket for the United States. 25% of that land will not be farmed. We in one of our districts up there are going to let 120 acres of citrus die because we do not have enough water. We're taking that water to use for our, some of our other groves in that area. You just let that die. And I was talking to Janet earlier. She was telling me it's even like, you know, the almond trees, many of them have gone too. Uh, so what is the solution here? What what can be done? I mean, it, it's like, you know, we're talking about trying to capture or harness some of the rainwater and, and the like. Uh, is it too late? No, it's never too late. You know, uh, I think we got to start building the reservoirs. That in 19, what 91, we passed a bond. We have we have money set aside to build reservoirs. We have not built. We built one, uh, Diamond Valley Reservoir. It's the only reservoir we've built. We we, sh we should be capturing all any water we can from any. Of course, we have not any rain, but any rain we do have in the future, catch it. Over half, over half of California's water goes out under the Golden Gate Bridge through the Delta the Sacramento Delta, and that water could be stored, kept and stored. I, I know it's so hard right now dealing with all the water issues, but you have to be proud of the people that work here. You know, you you continue to employ people. I know it's more difficult when you don't have the water and you have to get rid of the fields and, and the like, but you have to be proud of your fellow farmers for all of the work they do to try to keep it going despite these challenges. We have great guys working for us. Yeah, we, we have a great, great crew. Guys. Been with us for many years. Some guys have been with me for 40 years, uh, some 30, some 20. This guy here is probably 20 years. We've had, you know, we, we have a good relationship with our employees. Good relationship. Good relationship with employees, and I know good relationship with people here in the, com in the community. There it is, Gless Ranch, and they make delicious, <laughs> delicious oranges. We're just having a taste of that. This is what the water is all about, is creating the beautiful citrus, the beautiful crop. The state of California, one quarter of all the fruits and vegetables come right here from this state. Oh, sure, go. <laughs> We'll send it back to you. <laughs> no matter what the topic, he will find something to eat. He'll find a way. <laughs> yes. We'll get that vitamin C, Bob. Thank you. Tomorrow night, though, is the night. Hell No Water premieres on Fox 11 at 7 o'clock.